everyone. Welcome to the second video in our mRNA series. Today we're going to be discussing development and manufacturing CMC challenges and solutions. I'm joined today by Jin Tao Zhang, Director at Catalent Biologics. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So to get us started, how is mRNA made? Well, mRNA was produced using a cell-free in vitro transcription process. Basically, we use RNA polymerase to assemble a string of nucleotide together based on a DNA template. mRNA production is very fast in nature, as there is no need to wait for cells to be grown. From a unit operation perspective, industrial production can be divided into IVT reaction and the purification process. The IVT reaction typically are very quick, completed within a few hours. Additional steps, including RNA capping, poly tail addition, and template digestion are also frequently incorporated in this step as well. So both unmodified and modified nucleotides can be used in reactions. The goal of purification step is to recover products while reducing the key impurities produced in the IBT reaction. The common concerns in this step we need to be removed include endotoxin, residual enzymes, and uh, residual DNAs, and double strand RNA as well. So we incorporate several chromatography steps and uh, tangential flow filtration to remove the product impurity, all concentrate at the end. So I'm sure you have a lot of knowledge on this. What are some of the unique challenges associated with mRNA development and manufacturing? So uh, although mRNA really has seen the commercial production uh, in the past already, it's actually a very uh, early stage in its technology development. So there's uh, quite a few things still in under evolution. The current, uh, one of the things uh, we want to mention is the current technology has adopted a very diverse range of different process and different equipment. For example, some of the uh, IVT production using co-transcriptional or post-transcriptional capping process. They're also including several different kinds of reactors used for the production process as well, and also different kinds of purification process. The nature of the mRNA means actually they can be all harmonized into a very platform approach. If we do that, really that can accelerate the process development and reduce the cost in the production. Another key thing to note is that mRNA uses a very unique set of raw materials for its production. Some of these materials are supplied by a very small list of the vendors in the market, and they are also holding an IP on the materials as well. This actually means a lot of the cost of the materials coming from the raw materials in this uh, particular uh, raw materials. So the industry really need to address the issue in the future to improve both the supply chain robustness and also lower the cost of the production. So manufacturing MRI could also be very challenging at large scale because actually some of the uh, downstream purification require the use of very specialized resins, and they have very low binding capacity, and it really means a very long working cycle. Some of the also MRI process using the solvent in the purification. This kind of uh, purification requires a dedicated equipment and sometimes uh, facilities that requires exclusion-proof handling. Lastly, I think I want to touch on actually uh, the analytics for the MRI. It's very worth noting that MRI is a very large molecule compared with other modality. For example, a typical MRI is about 5,000 base. This is about over 1.6 million Daltons. Well, for example, a MAP is only about 150 kilodalton. With this 10 times increase in molecular size, the degree of complexity increased drastically, and the ability to quality, understand the quality of the material also become more challenging. How is the industry addressing the challenges that you sort of brought up in your previous question? Since the approval of the MRA-based vaccine, really there has been a very acceleration in the industry for the development of MRA. So there are a lot of players trying to solve the problem we discussed. We're observing at the moment a convergence of the technology for the RNA process and appearance of the platform approaches. For example, we mentioned the co-transcriptional and post-transcriptional capping. The industry is more, more towards the co-transcriptional capping. And also for purification, we're seeing more and more people taking the affinity-based uh, cap capture approach for RNA purification as well. 
There are also a, a lot of consortiums formed recently trying to help with the sharing of best practice and also understand the regulatory expectation for the modality. At the same time, I want to mention actually the whole industry, biotech and life science industry, are working very hard to find ways to really optimize each individual steps of the IBT reaction and purification process. For example, we are seeing new design of the polymerase, some of the new resins, and also some of the new capping agent to improve the process. As couple to that, we're also seeing improvement in terms of the manufacturing process, new reactors, and also continuous manufacturing approach showing up in the market as well. So the future really looking to uh, having a very robust supply chain and much more cost efficient manufacturing process and much more scalable manufacturing process as well. The rapid growth of the MR market we also incentivize a lot of new players to come into place and increase the robustness of the supply chain. So multiple CDMOs, including Catland, are building new GMP manufacturing capability that can better support the MRA process. Great, so I want to talk a little bit more about Catalan specifically. What are Catalan's capabilities for mRNA development and manufacturing? So Catalan has really integrated uh, the development and manufacturing capability for the mRNA. We have both the plasma DNA, messenger RNA, lipid nanoparticles, field finish, and clinical supply service to cover the whole beginning to end. We also provide very comprehensive analytical test and characterization capability for this complex mod modality. We have the capability and experience to develop process, uh, perform tech transfer and manufacture, including uh, a small self-amplifying MRI. In the past, we have scaled up the production MRI under GMP conditions for perform nearly 30 GMP runs and with a maximum batch at the size of a greater than 90 gram for a 20 liter batch. I want to thank you so much for chatting with me today and giving me more insight into Catalan and mRNA. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Stay tuned for the next video in the mRNA series.